Ladies and gentlemen, fasten your seat belts and prepare your taste buds as we embark on a relentless journey through the kingdom of brews. Welcome to the realm of intoxicating flavors and head-banging beer reviews. What's up, everybody? It's the Ginger Yeti, and I'm checking in from home. Getting a few beers in here and figured I'd do another beer review. So what I have for you today is Heart States Brewing Ache. Now, if you remember... Um, I did another video on Heart State. Uh, it was beat. I don't remember which one it was. It might have been, yeah, it was Heartbeat. I talked about the brewery a lot, and one of the things they do, it's Heart State, because it's the heart of Ohio, and their names will always be some sort of heart related. Like this is Heartache. I did the other beer, it was Heartbeat. Uh, they do a lot of beers like that. All their names have some sort of heart kind of reference to them. This brewery's down in the Columbus, Ohio area. Uh, it says it's packaged in Gahanna, Ohio, which is greater Columbus area. On the can, it says, drink what your heart desires. Uh, dumb government warning. It's 5.5% alcohol. Heart State. Pillow like vanilla and sour peach. Peach ache. Sour ale brewed with peach and vanilla. Peach and vanilla. That sounds absolutely delicious. Now, I paid $2.39 for this can. Down Simone's, which is on the west side of Cleveland and Lakewood. Cool little spot to go to. $2.39, again, is not bad for a can of craft beer. One of these days, I need to make it down to this brewery. Because I've enjoyed most of their beers. I think I've enjoyed all the beers I've had from them so far. And man, that shakluk just went everywhere. I just sprayed beer halfway across my desk. <clears throat> so it untapped. This gets a 3.71. With 3.3 thousand check-ins, which I was surprised had that many check-ins. And on Beer Advocate, it was an NAA. <clears throat> it's kind of strange to see a beer have thousands and thousands of check-ins on Untapped and not even have anything on, on Beer Advocate. But that's the way it goes. I guess a lot of Ohio people aren't big Beer Advocate fans. So when I poured that out, I kind of poured it hard. And that head's pretty fizzy. And it's dissipating super quick. I mean, it was a slightly white head, like slightly off-white head, I mean. And that just dissipated, like like head dissipates on a soda. It just went, phew, quickly disappeared. This might not have been the best glass to use for seeing through it because of all the cool artwork from the Ohio Pike Day. But wow, there are some floaters in there. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see if the flashlight will help us out here, if I can remember how to use it. That might be a little bright. I don't know if you can see those floaters in there. But there's a lot of floaters in there. That might not end well later tonight. And I can never turn this flashlight off. This is the coolest flashlight, but it's so hard to turn off. And now I've blinded myself. So if I'm looking at my SRM chart here from the winemaker shop in Columbus, Ohio, we're probably getting up there into the i give that a 7 on the SRMs. I don't know if anybody even cares about that, but it's kind of neat to, to look at and try to pick out what the color is. See if I can smell anything in this. I didn't get anything when I opened the can other than sprayed by beer. And now I'm just picking up some vanilla. That's about it. Just some, and it's not a strong vanilla smell. It's just get vanilla. Wonder if it's gonna taste like vanilla, vanilla peach, if it's gonna taste like those peach rings. If it tastes like peach rings, that'll be on point. Cheers, everybody. Oh, that is a sour for sure. Oh yeah. That is a sour. I mean it's not the most sour sour I've ever had, but that's Pretty medium sour. Uh, it's kind of medium body as well. Get some peach, get some vanilla. That's like a, a sour peach ring. I don't know if they make those kind of things. If they don't, somebody needs to make one. But that's like a sour peach ring. That is just sour make my mouth water now like sours normally do sour and some peach and some vanilla 
That is a tasty beer. 3.71, well-deserved. I'd probably give it a little bit higher than that, maybe a 3.8, 3.9. And that's definitely a big horns up. And so far, everything I've had from this brewery has pretty much been a good horns up. Like, I've really enjoyed all the beers I can think of I've had from them. Man. That Rochefort's giving me the burps. Yeah, this is a good beer. I hope you think I have a good video. If you do, let me know down below. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And as always, embrace the adventure. That is a nice sour.